quantity theory of money. It helps us in understanding why prices change when the amount of money in the economy that is going to change. What it tells is this, the general price level in the economy is directly proportional to the money supply. So if money supply is going to double, we will also see prices doubling, keeping other things constant. So intuitively, you can understand it like this. When there is more money in the economy, the value of money is going to go down. People have more money and they are buying the same amount of the goods. The production is not changing. It is still same. But now people have more money. So the prices of goods will increase. So the equation of uh, quantity theory of money is M into V equals to P. In. M is money supply. V is velocity of money. That is how many times a given rupee note is changing. P is the general price level. P is the number of transactions. You can take up number of transaction as the amount of goods and services produced. Supposedly, in our economy, money supply is rupees 100. And each rupee is moving around five times in the economy. So the velocity of money is five. So total spending is how much? Amount of money in the economy into number of times each rupee note is moving in the economy. That is the total amount of spending. In this case, it comes out to be 500. Say economy produces 50 chocolates. Let's say that number of transactions are equal to 50. So M into V equals to P into T. From here, we can get the value of price as equal to 10. But now suppose money supply increases to 200. Everything else remaining same. The amount of the production is same. That is 50 chocolates. And velocity of money is also same. So from here, we can see that the price level increases to 20 now. So if you print more money, but the economy is producing the same amount of goods and services, prices are going to rise because there is more money chasing the same amount of goods.